Hello, hello. Um, level up your look workshop friends who we are turning into the look club. Uh, we are going to do a weekly look. Let's see, turn on live notifications. I'm learning how to use technology tonight, everyone. Um, hi, I'm Katie. I'm your friend Katie East. I am uh, hosting here from my apartment in Mid City. I am trying to learn how to go live on Facebook. Uh, give me a shout out. Hey, say hi. Danielle is here. Fantastic. Let's see if I can invite Danielle. Yes, I can. Add Danielle. All right. Bring Let's see if Danielle and I can go live together. We have been trying all night. Oh, Just learning technology. Yay! Hey, Danielle. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It worked. Okay, cool. Um, perfect. Well, I'm so excited. We're doing this. Um, Danielle and I are trying to do a fall look, but we are being we are being stopped by technology. We're being uh, I don't know. We're uh, trying to learn. Hi, Andrea. Thank you for tuning in. All right. I'm going to try to fix my lighting. Andrea, I don't know if it's Andrea. I, You know what? I've been commenting on stuff with you, and I don't know how to pronounce your name. So I don't know how if you know how to comment and tell me which pronunciation is right. It's hard to type a pronunciation. But. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to try to fix my little lighting here. Now Sue's out. Okay. All right. So Danielle, you're starting your fall, fall look. Um, wow. I, so, I can't believe we actually figured it out. I feel special. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, it, uh, you know, I um technology is what it is a it is a burden and a uh and a gift. That is what it is. Um well, you look cute, Danielle. Did you just, you very quickly did makeup. Like, well, I mean, I put primer on. <laughs> it's amazing good. what primer and eyebrows does for a girl. Oh, that's what, did you do your eyebrows already? Kind of. I mean, this one needs a little work, but, you know, it looks, gotta start it looks somewhere. Cool. Well, so it's funny because I've said that um, if I ever, uh, if you asked me, like, I don't know, five years ago, three years ago, 10 years ago, if I was on a desert island, what like three made up makeup products I would bring or whatever, they, they've changed. Uh, there would always be concealer, would probably be from when I was a teenager to now concealer. Um, but I was very shocked to think that now eyebrow pencil is like my number one. Like, I, cause so, doing good, except for the lighting is still, I don't know why, I don't know. I have a I have a husband that's helping with the lighting. I I don't know. Just don't lean that. Oh, don't! I'm not allowed to lean back. I gotta be this close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning how to find my light. Thank you so much, Tyra Bain. Now you're not lining. Oh yeah, you're right. I can't I can't lean back. I have to sit up straight. I need this to be up a little bit. Yours looks better. Like we've been working on my lighting for two hours. <laughs> Yours is like you're in the hotel. No, it's fine. Danielle, did you notice something different about me today? Yes, I love the purple hair. It's very cool. I, okay. So I showered like, I don't know, an hour ago, <laughs> like an hour. Well, now it's been a couple hours, but I, I was, I, yes, yeah, thank you. Thanks, babe. Maybe. Yeah. I say 15. Um, so I was, I did the viral hair color and, um, I, I tried to kind of I bleach out the, the pink that I had in my hair the other day. Then I did um, dandruff shampoo mixed with hydrogen peroxide. Oh wow! And yes, and it did let it, it. The pink came out less than I thought it would. But um, but I was you I thought was it would come out more. I just, yeah, I thought it would come out more. Hmm. Um, Cause just using regular shampoo, it came out a lot in like two sh regular shampoos. But I got to get the purple in before before the Renaissance Festival. Danielle and I are going to the Renaissance Festival on Saturday, everyone. Um, if anyone is in Louisiana and you're looking for a fun time, uh, uh, a fun, safe, socially distanced, time. outdoor yeah. time mask. Yes, we'll be going on Saturday. I'm excited. I, I it's um. 
I'm excited to be around people, but also not be afraid of being around people. <laughs> There's so much space. There's, I, I'm, I'm excited to be in a field of, I don't know. How, okay. So, so I am going, I'm sorry. I'm starting, um, Danielle, you, we tried to do this live earlier on our Electra page and we had some issues and I also, when I was dealing with, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing. It was, it, it was a fail. We couldn't figure out how to do it. So. <laughs> It it's all good. good though. That was you a, gotta start a, somewhere. A mild version, yeah. Um, technical difficulties equals epic fail. You're right, yeah. Um, so I had, um, while trying to deal with technical things I have no understanding of and doing makeup at the same time, I decided, I went rogue and I decided to put Sazerac like too close to the inner eye and I was like, you know what, I'm feeling it. And then halfway through, I was like, oh, um, this is very muddled and, and I need to kind of fix it. So I ended up kind of uh, adding a bunch of made of Orleans on top of it. So I'm gonna come in with a little extra. Um, and for those who were not at this uh, Facebook Live on the Electra page, I'm using the Electra Power Pigment. I'm using Sazerac that I've mixed with a tiny bit of um, our, uh, power, excuse me, with our liquid transformer with this power pigment and I'm going to add it to the corner of my eye where I had previously added some dark rue. We're doing a, uh, a ho not holiday, excuse me, we're using, doing a fall look. It is a, a holiday of sorts. We're going to have Thanksgiving coming up, but many of us will not be having our regular Thanksgiving, unfortunately, but we will still be doing adorable eye makeup because what else are we going to do? Oh. And in the crease, I am using dark rue right now. So uh, it's a, a nice, lovely dark color for the crease. Perfect. Yeah, I did dark rue on my um, on the corners of my eye, but I kind of just messed up my Sazerac earlier. I'm still going to use Sazerac. I'm actually, as you're doing dark rue on the crease of your eye, I'm doing. Wait, let me get. I did a little bit uh, as on my highlight. I used Made of Orleans, which is a gold pigment. That gold pigment. And let's see. I'm going to put a little powder on because My, my cheeks are blushed from uh, being very stressed out due to technological issues. So, all right, perfect. I'm actually, Danielle, I think I'm gonna use Sazerac as my blush. I think it'll be really pretty. I don't know if I've done that. It will be a little bit like a bronzer, right? It'll be like a bronzer. It'll be like a bronzer slash a contour slash blush. And I left my my eyebrows open because I'm actually going to use dark rue to be my eyebrow tonight. I'm going to fill in my hair. Um, because you would think with this shimmer, I actually bought a product recently that was a, um, an eyebrow filler. Like that's it's supposed to be an everyday eyebrow filler, and it um, it has a, a such a shimmer to it. It looks like it's glitter in the actual product. And people even called it out. They're like, why would I buy glitter to put in my eyebrows? But once you put it in, it kind of, it just hits the light, right? And it doesn't, it looks like an everyday eyebrow. It's not, it doesn't look extreme or anything. So I will, I decided I'm going to do dark rue, a very beautiful mineral powder. And um, I'm going to use that as my eyebrow pencil today and see how it works. Okay, look at that. My Sazerac, Danielle. Wait a minute, it's not, okay, if my lighting is right. No, I can't get my, my, see, I did it subtle because I did it dry. I didn't put any of the um, liquid transformer in it like I did earlier in the night. So pretty. I love you are. Right. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are pretty. Thank you. Did you, I, did you ever watch Saturday Night Live, Danielle? I went through a phase when I was in, like, I would say 
junior high to high school that yes we watched it religiously we would like rehash out or act out the um skits yeah the skits that we saw and um yeah i loved saturday night live growing up i don't really watch it anymore fair enough um so i um i as a comedian i watch saturday night live hello wh whoever's joining us where danielle and i are doing we're doing a look club um and we are instead of a book club we're 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 hashing stuff out and we're doing looks instead of books is that that's is that bad Dan danielle how often do you read i used to read so much when i lived in new york city because i had to be on the train um but in new orleans now i not commuting anymore i don't read as much so but um uh so lauren michaels who's the producer of saturday night live always says that anyone who've ever watched Saturday Night Live, if you ask them who their favorite cast is, it's always the cast that was during their high school, their later high school years. So you would probably agree with that because you probably love that cast because that's when you watched it a bunch, right? Yeah, I, I would say so. I disagree with him, but that's just because I have my own beef with Lauren Michaels because I'm a comedian, so I do that. Um, I have like random people I like. I started watching Saturday Night Live when I was in fourth grade. And um, I'll watch it every once in a while now, but I religiously watching it. I've had friends that have written for it and stuff. So I'd watch it more during different years when I knew people who were on it or, or people I knew I had friends that were in it as well. Um, okay. So I am now Danielle. I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing what I said. I'm doing dark rue as an eyebrow. Instead of using my eyebrow pencil. So, Danielle, we, I don't think we've actually officially done this. We've been saying we need to do a makeup play date, but I don't think we've done it. No, Did, not in a while. Digital. Not digital. Since, have we done it since COVID? I don't think so. I don't think we've done it at all. Like, I know you've done it with a few friends, and I've had a few digital, like, dates with my sister and some other friends, but I've never done any makeup play dates, even though we've talked about it. But I know you've done some. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to do some. That's fun. Well, I just made a little bit of a mistake and looked straight into the camera instead of looking in the mirror that is right behind the camera. Yeah, so my I'm mirror gonna... is like down this way right here. So. Well, I'm lucky enough that I had a... a I could probably move it here though, but then that's weird because it blocks my, me, and I don't know well, why I want to see myself. No, that makes sense. You're you're doing a great job. I had Brian help me, and I still I still and I've like we worked on my lighting and my camera and my technical stuff for forever, and it still all went wrong. So <laughs> you know, it happens. Um, although it, I'm it, just it, in my it, hotel room and. Where am I? <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. Shout I out like to the courtyard. The... <laughs> they put me I like in street every week. Oh, what did you say, oh. Katie? Oh, wait. That's new information to me. I didn't know that they put you in a suite each week. Yeah, because apparently I'm platinum, platinum or something status. I don't know. Yeah, VIP. Yeah, let's see. What is my uh let's see, Marriott. There we go. I'm I'm looking up my Marriott Bonvoy information. Nice. Okay. All right, well post COVID I wanna come visit you. Everyone Danielle is Bless Danielle for being able to make it out. Every week she travels. She is a healthcare worker and she goes where she is needed. And she's been in Phoenix the last few months, actually. Yeah, since June. June. That's a, quite a few months. What is it now? June. Oh it God. is November. <laughs> July. I June, didn't really July, August, September, October, November. That's a long time. Almost half a year here. 
Wow. And that's and you've been in the same hotel, right? Oh, I'm titanium. Titanium elite. <laughs> You're like, oh. Did I say platinum? I like that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I really think titanium is better than platinum. I think it's Really? I think I think so. Come on, Mary reward. <laughs> Yeah, titanium is higher than platinum. Wow, they had so what happened was they made platinum the highest, and then they were like they had people that were so high, like Danielle, that they had to make another category. And they're like, technically, titanium is stronger than platinum. Or like, actually, platinum is very weak. I don't know if you know. That. Really? I thought it's yeah, very so strong. It's not at all. It's very weak. It's very soft. Um, so, the, so you're using Sazerac in your brow. I'm using Sazerac in kind of below the crease on my lid. I I'm actually, using, I'm using dark brew on my brow. Just right, just so you know. So I, I was I looking. Added I was in, looking up but, looks on Pinterest, and I'm trying to replicate this, but with fall colors. I don't know if you can see. Kind of. It's a little blown out, but I can see kind of what you're doing. That that foam looks like it did what I did. Hi, anyone who's watching. Hello. We're doing a fall look, Danielle and I. We're dealing with technical issues, and we're having fun. We're having a lot of fun. This is a, a makeup play date, and we're having fun. So I hope that y'all have your greens and browns and kind of rusty colors out to do some looks because we'd love to see what you're able to create this week post mm -hmm. it on the page um next week we'll be doing another look weekly we're going to just keep on doing looks and looks and looks looks and looks and looks yeah and my my sister who's in this group she said too she was like i once i said whatever our theme was this week which was fall looks she said oh can i do the look early absolutely when we were doing the um, when we were doing level up your look the workshop, you probably kind of wanted to know the information we were giving. Um, but now, hey, if you got the theme, do a fall look. You don't need us to tell you what to do. Hey, we have plenty of tips. We have plenty of of hacks. But we're just Danielle and I are just doing some makeup. We're having fun, and we hope that you get inspired this week and do a fall look. Uh, mainly because we need things to be inspired by <laughs> we need we need yeah especially we got the official notice was it today about mardi gras so yeah well mardi gras parades are officially not happening until 2022 that's right um f u covid Yes, I feel good. but you know what? I mean, I kind of knew that was coming. To, you know, Danielle, I'm not too upset about. That's just too many people. I, I knew. I be. Oh, I don't know. Okay, sorry. I'm looking at. I did a dark grow on my brows, and it's a little wild, so I've, I've got to kind of rein it in. But yeah, I knew that. Like I, like I think Halloween was. I wore a costume. I had a thing to go to, but I wasn't gonna just go out. Same thing. We were at the same event, and. We were safe and we knew it was safe. And, you know, if Mardi Gras was obviously, we all knew it wasn't going to exist in the same way that it would have normally. But I'm going to wear a costume and someone's going to see me. And that's all I know about Mardi Gras, which is what I said about Halloween and what is what happened on Halloween. And I felt very safe the entire time. So I think the same thing will happen. Mardi Gras, I hope we'll all feel a little bit safer by then. But I think the important thing is I will wear a costume and I will feel safe. And I hope, I hope you all agree with me. I hope that's what, hope that's what we do. But I'm going to be wearing a ton of makeup and I'll spend way too much time getting ready and I'll enjoy every second of it. What about you, Danielle? Same here. <laughs> I will. Like same here. I won't. You know, obviously there's no official parades, but I picture myself wandering the streets in a fabulous costume with great you know eye makeup and a mask 
and which is like, like a hole in the mask to drink champagne out of or something i mean a hole that but again, like, opens what yeah i haven't that's a mask that i don't have yet is the um they have them at the new orleans costume center i think the ones with the zip open masks i don't have anything like that have you seen that danielle you know i feel like i've not seen it there Shout out to the New Orleans Costume Center, Shell. Um, amazing store. Stop in there for costume needs, for um, crafting needs. Um, but I have I haven't seen it advertised on their site. But you know, you see stuff on Pinterest. You see stuff uh, on Facebook pages, that sort of thing. Um, are they at? Are they by the uh, Mardi Gras zone? Yes, right next door on Royal Street. I I don't know the exact address, but um, I think so. I think they have. I think they have a local artist that's been doing the zipper mask, which I'm very interested in. Yeah, um, I'm not sure who's doing it. I feel like hmm, no. So. What's what's happening on your face that you're like? Oh yes, yeah, I was I was thinking that you were asking about my finger, so I decided I wanted to cut my finger open this week at work. You you decided that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I didn't when I was a Girl Scout and Brownie. I didn't follow the knife safety, uh, or didn't learn it and good enough. So I now have a finger that is cut open from here to here. Ooh, oh, have... that's blood. That's not great. little things holding it shut. So, oh, I, so I don't need stitches. <laughs> I thought you were just wearing one of the finger condoms for voting. Yeah, no, that was me earlier today. <laughs> uh, Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It, it's it's one of those things like it didn't even hurt. It happened so fast. And then you know, once I stopped the bleeding and got the little uh, butterfly strips on it, it was, I was good to go. Oh, that's what it is, butterfly strips. I was a little bummed because I was like, oh, I'm going to go, you know, like I had plans. I'm going to go, you know, get a good run in or something, get some sort of exercise in. And I was like, you know. I was like, I don't know, I'm kind of afraid to like go running and then all of a sudden, you know, like my blood pressure goes up and I've like just pictured my little finger squirting blood out. I, I don't know if that would actually happen, but I had a, so, an irrational fear that it would. So Danielle, I thought I have a, um, a friend who writes, I believe for men's magazine, I'm trying to remember, but I almost like added you on Facebook Tell me if this is offensive or not, but it was like, hey, if you've become obsessed with working out and you worked out every day during COVID, let me know. And I almost, she was like, I would like to mention you in an article if you don't mind or like talk about it. And I almost added you and I was like, oh, I didn't mean to like call her out, but I was like, you've done so great. You, I, you, no, you, you can. You, you, I can. I, I mean, I have. <laughs> I've worked out pretty much every day since, actually since my birthday, after my birthday weekend, I've been really regular in April um, in April everybody yeah yeah I'm trying to think um because I you know like I have an Apple watch and I love to like um track everything on my Apple watch but let's see how many days in a row I've worked out do, 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 do. well I heard from from Greg, you might you might have broke it broke your your uh, streak even though you actually worked out like two hundred days or something. Yeah. While well, well, you so were, what I didn't hit is I didn't hit my move goal. I I did work out that day, so I had a workout. But while you so, were doing figuring that out, I am adding um, some liquid transformer to dark brew to be my eyeliner. And like I said, I did it as my eyebrow pencil for, which was, wouldn't be an everyday look, but I, I got to go. All right. So, go so ahead, I've worked Daniel. out for 30, 36 weeks where I've earned a perfect exercise week. 
So that means I exercised seven out of seven days. So what's 36 times seven? What's 36 times seven? Isn't 252 up. days. Holy Lord, that's almost the whole year. But, you know, it, sometimes that workout is a walk. Like walks count as workouts. It's not like I'm high intensity working out every day. But, well, I started, Danielle, you saw me on Halloween do that. Um, my you jump rope? Work. <laughs> so I really, like, jumping rope is a really intense workout. Um, so I do very low intensity workout, even if I, like, I, I like jazzercise. I like jazzercise. But um, if I do have a week where I don't do jazzercise, like, the last week I didn't do any main major activity. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go out and I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to do some jump rope. So I went out and I jump rope the second I woke up because I was like, that'll get my blood flowing. And I got to tell you, don't do that. Please just, like, if you haven't exercised in a while and you haven't stretch or something before you jump rope because the lactic acid in my body went no no don't do that um but jump rope like i i think i got to like 40 jump jump rope i don't know um and i was exhausted i mean i i i'll do it a few times but man you every muscle in your body especially when you're used to doing a low impact thing that is high impact it's like feet on concrete <laughs> so I'm kind of learning, but I do like it. Yeah, I like that. I, I, I it. like it. Go ahead. No, no, no. I don't think I could jump rope. That's, mm -mm. that seems well, like I only a did lot it of jostling. <laughs> There's so much jostling. It's like boobs and ankles. <laughs> so much. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a lot. It, it definitely like. I told Brian, I was like, I don't think this is the exercise for me, but I did like, I liked it when I was work. I, I learned it to do, I did tricks specifically for a show and I, I really enjoyed it, but I woke up two different mornings and that's the first thing I did. And I was like, I'm going to wake myself up this way. And it, it wasn't great. It just, my whole body was like, no, don't do that. Okay. So I am done. Um, look how, okay. So. For anyone who might have tuned in to the Electro Live on our on our electric page, I did these eyes. I've kind of fixed them a little bit, and I have put some dark brew as my brow color, which I probably wouldn't do on a regular day, but you know, pretty great. And then I used dry instead of using our liquid transform when I mix with it. I used um, dry or made of Orleans Power Pigment as my highlight. The same gold that I used several different times on my eye mixed with the um, liquid transformer. Here I used it dry as my highlighter. And then I used Sazerac as my blush and contour. I mean, look, Danielle, it's not even that extreme. Like, no, it looks, it looks cool. Looks really pretty. I feel good about it. I think I'm going to go on to um, my lips. I feel like I need to make Sazerac the star of this because. Kind of mess. I'm, I messed my old girl Sazerac up earlier. Beautiful power pigment. I'm gonna put that on my lip. Okay. I'm just adding a little white eyeliner to the interior. I don't know what's this called, the waterline, to make my eyes look yes. better. Oh, I just put it Actually, I'm glad you said that because I'm gonna do my mascara now. Oh no, I do need to do my mascara. I am a curl what before mascara girl though. And I have this really pretty, so, like, I don't know, rainbow. Ooh, that's you're already guessing. on that side. <laughs> Clean you'll, it up. Danielle, you'll learn very quickly what things of yours are dirty when you're on camera. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, oh, that makeup brush is not. There, clean. now it's cleaner. Pretty. It is very pretty. It's like, I feel like, like my eyes look like candy corn. <laughs> pretty candy horn all right see i love how different our looks already look and yours is actually more extreme than mine i i blended 
I spent like probably 30 minutes blending earlier when we were having technical difficulties. <laughs> but yours does look, it looks good. It looks like the picture that you were going for, your inspiration. Yeah, it's helpful to me to have like something to, like an inspo picture. I love Pinterest for that. Do you have comment um, below uh, wh where you get your inspo when you're trying to create a look? Yes, good idea. And do you have Danielle when you are um, looking for inspiration? You look for something that's like literal, or do you look for something? So like earlier, I was thinking when I was looking at this fall look or thinking about a fall look, I was like, oh, what would look good with this hat that I have? This fall hat that I literally never wear. So that was kind of that was kind of a, a vague and general inspiration I was looking for. Um, but you like sometimes to have something a little more literal, like, oh, let me look at someone who's done a fall look and then kind of get, what do you Well, like? I just looked up, I don't know why, but I, I've been lately like Googling or putting in Pinterest like pigments, you know, obviously, because we have the power pigments and I'm looking for, you know, more inspiration looks to create. Um, so I just looked up pigments and the one that came on my screen, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I like how, you know, it goes from one color to another color um, nicely. <laughs> my lighting's a little weird because like in the mirror, this looks really balanced. But here, I think because there's my light source is here. It makes this look smaller than this side, but apparently it's. I can't really yeah. tell. I like that it looks, I like it. You, you, it looks very like a uh, bold and I like your shapes are very bold and I'm more blended where usually we're kind of the opposite. Like you're very great at blending and I'm kind of a little more bold with my lines. Kind of we've switched, we've swapped tonight, I feel like. Yeah. It is also because I spent 20 to 30 minutes blending during uh, my technical difficulties on Facebook. Okay. I am going to do, I'm going to do Sazerac on my lips. And I do realize, Danielle, I said something a little crazy last time on our workshop. I think I told people to straight dip their um, mint glaze into whatever color or glitter that they wanted to. But that might mess up your brush. You'd have to clean your brush if you did that. I, because I think I was telling them I have, I use the little brushes, uh, the disposable ones that we have at uh, the headquarters. But I am going to. This is my mint glaze that I have at my right here in New Orleans in Mint City, and I'm going to put some. Actually, let me pick up my little plate and show you what I do. Um, you can. I'm going to use this dry power pigment, Sazerac. The beautiful one that I kind of messed up with my eye shadow earlier. So I want to give her a good. I don't know why we call it her when we say like a eye shadow or a boat. Color her, her. Like why do we give ladies that great um we're like, of, of course, a boat or a car would be a her, but then we don't really respect women enough to go over like, do we do we break champagne on them all the time? I don't know. Okay, so I'm not, I'm gonna call them a they. The Sazerac is a they, and it they are a beautiful lipstick. So I put a little bit of this dry power pigment. This plate's a little messy now, but I put them right here, um, and instead of just going with my mint glaze you can use um i'll put the mint glaze straight on my lips and then what i would do is put a q-tip use a q-tip and then put the primer excuse me the power pigment on but the fun technique that danielle taught me is use your q-tip i happen to be using a little applicator right now but if you just use a q-tip take the sticky off with your Q-tip, dip it into your dry power pigment, 
And now I'm going to make a custom lip gloss. You can use any color. Danielle, like one of my favorite tricks, if you're teaching me that. But definitely the important part is getting that sticky using the Q-tip onto the sticky of the lip gloss first. See, I'm starting to get them fall colors in there. I'm definitely going to, I think I'm going to want to put that um, Made of Orleans as like a, uh, ombre lighter color in the center of my lip. Danielle, I've been noticing that you, every time you've done a creative capsule look, you do such a pretty, um, like gold in the center of your lip color. Can you, what have you been using? Can you, I feel like I've asked you a couple. I feel like made of Orleans is, is something, but I also have been using, uh, ooh, uh, gin fizz or golden hour. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Golden Hour is probably my favorite high. But look how pretty Made of Orleans, I would think, would be a little intense for a highlighter. This beautiful gold that I've used here, it's the same gold that I used here, but I used it dry here. And then I used it with the liquid transformer here. It's crazy how pretty it looks. When All right, it, so I put down a little bit of the mint glaze here, and I'm just going to scoop some of the... I'm going to do green lips. I don't know why. <gasps> you, Danielle, we're swapping tonight. <laughs> like, I'm, like, subtle. I'm, like, blending. And you're like, I'm doing green lips. <laughs> I think green lips will look good with this look. I think it will. If only I had some leaves to glue to my face. That's definitely the level up your look workshop. <laughs> wow, I should I need to run out and sh and get Brian made the most beautiful le leather leaf I've ever seen in my life. My husband's a leather worker, y'all. He made the most pretty leaf. I can't even I can't even tell. I'm so proud of him. What's he going to do with it? He put, okay, I'm going to, I might just run out and get it, but he made it. It's for his, uh, for the people who are going to the rent fair this weekend. He did a little, um, a side, I don't know. The boys know what they're called, but it's like, it's like a hip guard, I guess. And it goes on the side of his leg and he cut out this beautiful leaf and he spray painted it. Not, it, he, spray dyed it with like leather dye like green red and yellow to match like a a, a a client sent him a picture of a fall leaf and it was oh my gosh it's so pretty I, I might have to run and go get it but i'll finish my lip while i do it all right so you are you said you're you're oh yeah you're going for desire lip pretty and i'm starting to put a little made of orleans in the center of my sazerac that sounded sexual. I'm putting it into the center of my Sazerac. Sazerac's my safe word. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly easier than Chapatula's. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was good. That's a bumper sticker. Ooh, I love Sazerac and Made of Orleans as a lip color. I've given up on looking on my mirror. I'm just looking at my camera. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I think definitely you probably used Made of Orleans in some of your colors because it looks so good as a center color. And that's what I was saying when I was doing the workshop. It's like one of these pigments, you could probably do a half of a face. It's so amazing. If you have two colors, though, then you can at least do a lighter and a darker shade. You have three colors. You could do anything. You could do anything. Um, especially if they're in the same family, kind of. All right. Now I'm overthinking, but I think I might. I'm sorry. I'm starting to add a. Nope. I'm overthinking. I messed something up. Okay.
I started adding a darker, the dark grew into the lip. It's not good. Let's get this out of here, friends. Oh, I like that green, Danielle. It's looking good. It's definitely a different look. But it's pretty. <laughs> I know. We swapped it. It's pretty. So here's what here's what I do if um when I do something on one side I'm like I don't love it and I have to take it off. I still kind of do it on the other side just so here. I'm gonna it out. I just, okay. I think so. Oh, I like it. Me or you? <laughs> no, you. Oh, thank. I like. Okay. It's kind of the the lip color is really cool. Thanks. Yeah, that's Sazerac and Made of Orleans. Okay, while you're finishing up, I am going to do the accoutrement. The uh, I'm going to use Golden Bronze Folk Balm. So I've used, um, so the great thing about these creative capsules that we've been sending out to people throughout quarantine and, and now we're starting to sell to the public as they're sending, it's either, it's four power pigments and or micro fines mixed in and one bolt bomb. So you can do a whole face with these five colors. You have a whole look and, and 30 different ways you can wear the look. But I've just put four power pigments on my face with a liquid transformer that comes also with a creative capsule and the, uh, the sparkling, the icing on top is the, uh, bolt bomb, which is our most beloved product, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to try to do like, we're, ooh, I'm going to do a little subtle today. Cause I, I, I do a lot usually with a bolt bomb, but I'm doing a little bit of a subtle look for me. <laughs> Danielle's doing more bold for her. I do still have this shaved side of my head. So I usually like one of the great tips, if you're paying attention, write it down. Um, I usually, with the way your hairline goes, a lot of times people be like, this is my good side. So put my bolt bomb over here, but my bangs go over here. This is where my hair goes. So even though this is not the best side for me, this is where you want to put the bolt bomb because this is where it will stay all night. My hair won't get in the way. And also, it gives a little zhuzh to my least favorite side. Am I right? Oh, I like that tip. <laughs> yeah. So this is why. Does everyone have a beautiful side? Like it took, this you? is my this is my pretty side. Like you know, I'm like, ooh, she pretty, and I'm like, oh, who's that lady? <laughs> so is that what I look like? <laughs> You're like, that's not me. This is me. <laughs> So Danielle, that's so me. I was always like, this is my pretty side. I'm like, hi, this is my pretty so side. So comment below if, if your pretty side is your right or if your pretty side is your left. I'm curious. So what, what? side is yours, Danielle? My pretty side is my right. My and mine's my, mine's my left. So yeah. this is this is my pretty side. I, I said I was going subtle and then I kind of went too much. So wait, oh wait, here's a fun tip. If you go too much, let's, I wish I had that. Oh wait, I did a paper towel, but it's too far. Hang on. All right. I think I'm going to try a little of the Sazerac as my blusher as well. It looks so pretty. Like I want to use it as a blush oh, all the time now. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened when I used that slightly fatter brush. Mm. So I'm now, cause I want to go for a slightly subtler look with my, uh, this is, oh, I didn't even say, I'm so sorry. I was just showing the bulb on me and say that it was golden bronze, or maybe I did say golden bronze. Um, I used a little applicator to put it on and it was a little more extreme. Like sometimes I'll just do a full crescent or a mini crescent to do a shape right here. Um, but I got excited. I got a little overzealous for this look. I want to, I'm doing subtle. I'm doing pretty. So I want to take a little off so I could either use a Q-tip or, um, this paper towel, which I'm going to do right now. Um, I want to 
I'm going to do this. So I would say before I started working for Electra, that was the one main thing that people would say if you would, they didn't really like glitter that much. They'd go, oh my gosh, glitter, well, you know, it, it'll be too much. And then what are you going to do? It, you can always remove glitter because we have great techniques how to do that. Look, for this is just a baby wipe. This isn't rocket science, but you can also use a, anything that's sticky, use a piece of tape. Oh, look at Andrea saying, right side I went and looked at selfies to confirm. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. She says she looked better at the right side, Andrea. I, I, Andrea or Andrea, I'm still not 100%, but thank you. How do I get the comments? You don't get Maybe that? I don't get the comments because I'm. you invited me. Maybe. We're still figuring out technology. It is hard. All right. Oh, I really like this as a blush. I know. That's what that's Sazerac. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's really pretty. I love doing this because you don't. This is why I like doing creative capsules because you are like you get four look like four four colors to make a look, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I have to work within these confines, and I'm like, this is the best look I've ever done. And, I would never have chosen this for myself, um, but I really I like, like this those. color theme, if you will, that this one, this one that we're doing now, this, I kind yeah, of you feel like, pretty. do I feel, I feel like this is like Starbucks, you know, like the green of Starbucks and then like pumpkin spice and a little, I don't know, honey. And I love it. You look dark. Great. Well, Coffee. can we, we can go ahead and announce, right? We're going to do pumpkin spice next week. So oh. <laughs> that's a, that's a big announcement. <laughs> I, know. I know all the fans have been clamoring, but that sounds like fun. I know. Um, but I really, so I don't know. Danielle, Steve, my eyes are asymmetrical. This is so annoying. <laughs> you, I don't see what you mean, but that's, kind of the thing about having a good side. That's funny. I don't see what you mean though. You look so pretty. I feel like I'm <laughs> okay. I just, I settle and then you did like drama. I really like it. We, we wife swapped. No, wait, no. <laughs> <That's not it>. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could be like a little like woodland fairy yes we need wings on you maybe it's part of the renaissance festival this weekend i think i'm I gonna have, i don't know i'm not sure what i'm gonna be this weekend for the renaissance festival oh yeah we have to say that but isn't this fun? like we just we just pick these colors and put them together for our fall look but man they look so good i like they look and look how different you look for me Mm-hmm. But both good. That's the thing. Like you can't really do something wrong. You just have to play and experiment and I know. I can't believe like so I've been using Golden Hour as my highlighter, like for every highlighter. But because I had these four colors, I was like, okay, I have one gold. I'm gonna use it as my highlighter. And that's made of Orleans. And I was like, that will be a very extreme highlighter, but it is not at all. It looks so pretty and look how pretty it looks on Danielle. Danielle, I can't believe, like we, I really feel like we swapped, like your makeup, you were like, not drag queen, but you were like two steps below. <laughs> <laughs> I do have like, I, I definitely feel like I relate, you know, like I, there's a, there's a little drag queen in, in every person. There's a little drag queen in me, <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I love it though. It looks so good. Uh, yeah. And I feel like I've like blended and I'm like, I guess like I look like a normal person now. <laughs> Normally I'm wear much bolder. I love it though. So I'm doing a, I like this green. It's definitely desire. a pretty one. So this is desire. Um, the reason I chose desire for this is 
that it has a little bit of a golder tone. City Park is my favorite green power pigment that we have, but I like this as kind of a more warm, warm green. And it looks so good. It it all worked out. I put I picked Sazerac at the last minute and put it in here. I'm glad I did. Because I really like the way it all turned out. You look so pretty, pretty Danielle. Size. Ugly sock. <laughs> pretty sock? No. <laughs> oh wait, so this is what I this is what I was going to say about doing the creative capsules throughout quarantine. The only thing that kept me creative was using our creative capsules and learning how to model at my, right here, my apartment in mid city. But this was always my good side my whole life. And this was my bad side. And now I realize this is my interesting side and this is my commercial side. Oh, so, I like that. Just yeah. There's no pretty and ugly in makeup. There you go. You might just all have a commercial sign and you might have a avant garde sign. <laughs> runway, wait, runway, commercial. <laughs> avant garde, Tyra Bay. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I just realized, like, my, what I thought was my ugly side, it, like, I did a little shade part and, you know, like, I, I threw some glitter on. And some of my most favorite pictures over quarantine have been on my ugly side because I realized my ugly side isn't ugly. She got her own thing going on. Like the pretty side always looks pretty. Let's be real because she's the commercial side, but she's avant-garde, you know, she's not going to get it every day, but she's, she's special. <laughs> she's, she's special. <laughs> exactly. So hopefully you can take that too. What's up, Danielle? Oh, I'm, I'm just using a little bit, since we're in the gold tones, I'm using a little um, rainbow, no, fire opal, which is yeah. going to have a little yellow. So this is um, one of our body shimmers. It is, um, you can use it on the lips. You can use it on the cheeks. It's not eye safe. Um, let's see, what am I going to use to put it on? I'm looking for one of our little applicators. If I have one with me. Or Q-tip, right? Look at, that's what I ended up doing. I did a Q-tip. Normally, I'll, I think you taught me that. What? You taught me to use the body shimmers with a napkin. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Well, that's on the, yeah. When I'm... I don't really do that on my face. I like a little more control when I'm putting it on my face. All right. Apparently I can't find one of our applicators. So I have this little, this little thing. Um, Andrea, if you're still with us, let us know when your birthday is. Earlier, Andrea was saying in the group, she was like, is it crazy that I want a glitter buffet experience just for my birthday? I was like, um, no, <laughs> it's not. And I just did that for my friend Suzanne's birthday in Baton Rouge. I went and it was just three of us. It was uh, my best friend and me and my sister, also her best friend. Um, and we, I brought like 30 Electra products and that was the birthday. <laughs> we had so much fun. Um, we had a great time. Uh, we, I'm calling it the, a buffet in a box instead of a glitter buffet experience. It's a buffet in a box and we're working on it. Um, because, because sometimes even though there's only one to three, yes, Andrea says November 23rd. Oh, that's so soon. Andrea, do you want to be our beta tester for the buffet in a box? Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. While you're doing that, Danielle, I'm doing um, pure bronze uh, microfine. I'm just starting to add extra things. Mm. See, I wish I had some pure bronze I could do, like, some freckles with. Well, uh, well, yeah, I did. So I just did a little golden bronze here, but I, I felt like I was done. But that's kind of the thing when a, another friend is still working a little bit longer on their makeup, then you are like, I'll do a little bit more. I think I'm pretty good, but I'm going to do a little golden bronze on top of my lip. Andrea, I, I think I have your email, but I want to make sure I have your email and I'll email you about um, doing a, a buffet in a box for your birthday. 
<laughs> I will beta test all the things. Fantastic. All right. All right. So I put a little bit of the fire opal on my lips. Oh, it looks so good. And I'm I'm adding unnecessary things to myself because I'm excited. You know why not? <laughs> well, once you start, that's the problem. Is you do have to cut yourself off at some some point. I mean, it does get more and more fabulous, but <laughs> Danielle Andrea says she loves your green lip, and I do too. Thank you. I wish I, I had like green earrings or something to match it. Right. I know. I didn't know where this look was going either. Um, ooh, I have like, my favorite thing is when you kind of just do something and you're not sure where it's going and then you figure out like, oh, this is what I am. Kind of like when I thought I was a purple queen because I couldn't see anybody's comments during the, the last, oh wait, I have, oh, I have a thing that I've been trying to wear for two falls, three falls. I bought three falls ago and I never wore it and I think this is it. Give me a second, Danielle, you look amazing. Tell everyone who just joined what your look is right now. All right. I am playing around with the Power Pigments. I used Desire on my lips and kind of like this lower line. I have um, Sazerac on my lid below my crease. I have um, Made of Orleans on my lid, and then uh, a little dark rue through the crease, um, just to kind of finish it off. I have like a little basic eyeshadow palette that is kind of like, I don't know, I just use it all the time, it's just different colors. But I think I'm going to finish up with just a little black. And I have white kind of as a highlight, you know, here and up here. But I'm just going to add just a little pop of the black right here. I think it will accentuate the look. Just give it a little bit more definition. I dropped like 18 things. I don't think it was worth it, but. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I bought this hat at Goren Brothers and I've never worn it. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it, is, it is a brown suede and it is such a fall hat. And in fact, um, let's see if I can show it off. I spent, I got some insane sale on this Goran Brothers hat um, that I sat in my closet to wear this, I don't know, $100 hat I got for $35. And then I spent, I would say $18 on each feather. <laughs> um, so I bought these, two of these feathers and, uh, oh, a pine, a pine cone quill. Here we go. Hang on. I, I really have to show this off because this is this look reminded me of fall. I got a pine cone quill. And then this was my grandfather's hat pin that I Aww. put on and never worn it. So I think this fall look is exactly what I need for this. Yeah, hat that's perfect that I've really never worn. <laughs> I knocked over my entire table of uh makeup that i put on but Oops. i guess hey your hair is unbelievable <laughs> my hair needs a haircut but it's, it's a so little cray cray right now i love it though <laughs> i love it. rachel says she can't wait to watch later though um rachel you know what do your best because this has we've all done our best tonight um yikes uh we had some technical but we figured out how to do this multi-screen thing, which is very cool. We lost the first hour. Um, and you know what? Sometimes you don't need to remember everything. <laughs> so, um, but 
Thank you, uh, Rachel, for tuning in. Thank you, Andrea, for the details on the hat. This is, uh, yeah, the, the details cost more than the hat. This, you know, I really need to figure out the, the pint. Really, what, I can't rem I can't tell you how many mimosas I must have had that somebody sold me a $12 pine cone quill. <laughs> or That's pine, crazy. Pine. I'm like, pine cone, isn't it a porcupine? Porcupine, sorry. Definitely not a pine cone. Pine, pork. How many mimosas pork, have you pine. had tonight? <laughs> what? I said, how many mimosas have you had tonight? Unfortunately, zero. Um, I did do a quick chug of a drink during our technical <laughs> difficulties. Um, you know what? It helped though. <laughs> we figured it out. Your hair is unbelievable, Daniel. Wait, it's is ready this for Rachel? It is live. It is live. It's 18 hours later. It's live. Yeah. This is uh, also since my sister is live. This um this is a hat pin from our grandfather that I put into this hat. This is happening live. Yep. All right. And I have stabbed myself with a porcupine quill. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a pine cone quill. What's that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Um, well, we did it. Hey, we did it. Cool. Did it. So, you know, as we go along, maybe we'll get better. Maybe it will get worse. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll get better for sure. <laughs> the important thing is we did a look <laughs> and we tried and we had fun and but this is going to be a weekly thing, um, you know, COVID spiking. So we're just going to hang out at home and hopefully y'all want to join us. Yes. So the important thing is we will be doing this every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Yes, it's much later than that right now. <laughs> um, but you don't have to do a look at, at 8 p.m. on Tuesday. This is the inspiration, Danielle and I. We had no idea what we were going to do until the. So, Danielle, let's both put our faces very close to the camera and see what we did throughout this hour. Um, I love it. I didn't know where I was going when I started. And uh, we did fall. Fall look was our inspiration. Next week will be pumpkin spice. So, I know all you basic ladies out there. <laughs> So this go. was my little inspo here. Oh, inspo. Well, no. Can you see it? No, we can't really see it. We can kind of see it, I think. And, eh. you know, I, I did okay. <laughs> you look amazing. I think you look better than the phone. But... Uh, uh, well, that was fun. It was definitely fun. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Hopefully, comment below. Tell us... Um, if there's things that you're interested in seeing or any looks that you want to create coming up, we're definitely going to, you know, do some fun holiday theme stuff. Um, but you know, comment below, tell us what we should do. And maybe one day we'll be like, Oh yeah, they said we should be octopus ladies. We should be. Um, Danielle, <laughs> I love everyone's accessories. So thank you, Rachel. Danielle always has the best. Danielle, did you make those, the earrings? I did not make these. I, I bought these in Grand Rapids, Michigan at a farmer's market. And I got two pairs and I lost half of one pair. But yeah, I love these. They're just like. <laughs> I lost half of one pair. Um, <laughs> also asked, how did you make your hair look that good so quickly, Danielle? I agree. She literally did it in five seconds. She was like a lioness. Um, <laughs> it's a rubber band. Okay, we can't do it, Rachel. But she, she was just like, there's no secret to it. Your hair can't do it. Um, I, have, I have crazy hair. I have a hair with a mind to its own. That's why it's always up on the top of my head because it's super long. Edge. So much hair. Um, yes, we will post close up. That's my waist. That is, when is the last time you cut it? Six uh, months I, ago, maybe. By the way, Rachel and <laughs> and uh, Patty, who might have joined, I have purple hair starting today. Okay. Yay! Yay! It'll be even more purple later. Um. Oh, so 
as we're speaking though about the look club yes we're doing pumpkin spice next week yes we would love to know your suggestions uh about other looks to do forthcoming post haste but um we had technical difficulties tonight that was a huge bummer we posted on the Electra page. It didn't work out. So we came into this group because we knew how to do that. And we wanted both Danielle and I to be here. We weren't able to do it during uh, Hurricane Zeta. So we we're very glad to be here in the group tonight. Um, but we're going to figure out how to keep doing this. And if we have to make a big group so that we can continue Danielle and I to do it together um, instead of us going on Electra page, we'll figure it out. Thank you all for, for tuning in and we appreciate it. We are, you know what? We're pretty, <laughs> some of us aren't so technologically advanced. Uh, we're doing our best. Uh, Danielle Andrea says uh, she had purple hair from January to June in transition to pink. Andrea, I had pink up until one and a half hours ago and I'm transitioning to purple and I'm, I'm learning, I don't know. It's not as purple as I was hoping for, so we'll we'll see. I still I'm 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 coloring it. I'm I'm shampooing it in. So anyway, yeah, um, I definitely like the purple. The purple's cool. You do like? Okay, I I was very shocked when I got out of the shower today. I was I don't know. Well, we'll see. This weekend, Danielle and I will take a ton of pictures. We will be once again uh, at the Louisiana Renaissance Festival, um, and uh, yeah. So, let us know. Do you if think you have people should post pictures of their pup pumpkins for inspiration for us next week? Oh, pumpkin spice. Oh. <laughs> but what, well, what if anyone has any like Pinterest board? Like I don't know any any Pinterest boards. Tag us in. We have a we have a new Pinterest account, Danielle on Electra Cosmetics. I'll have to get the the actual link so I can give it to everybody. We're starting to put some boards together because we want to inspire people. We want to be inspired. So if you have a fantastic pumpkin spice inspiration board, please let us know. Um, but yeah. All right, Danielle, anything else? Did we Not do that? Not that I can think of. This was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Um, On Pinterest, you'll find us. Oh, of course, it doesn't. It's Electra Cosmetics. But right now it's secret. But is eventually it, it won't be secret. Says secret board. Oh no, we need a not secret board. We need a public board, in fact. All right, well we'll figure it out. Um, you guys, thank y'all so much for for dealing with our technical. You know what? We just used to go out into the public, and we saw you all every every week or so at the glitter buffet experience. But we're learning how to do this live and from the internet, and and I'm proud of us. <laughs> And also post the looks that you create this week inspired by these fabulous fall colors. Fall looks. Greens, coppers, golds. Doesn't have to be Electra products. Whatever you have at home, play, experiment, have fun. Please, yeah, Rachel, you said that you had time today. If you didn't do your fall look, do it sometime this week. The fun thing about this is that it is, I would not have done this look today if I didn't have the inspiration of fall look. So now you have the inspiration of fall look. You don't have to do it, but why not do it? It's fun and it's a fun excuse. It's a fun excuse. And what else do we have lately but fun reasons to be inspirational? So fall look, do it, do it your way. And please tell us and show us how you do it your way. Ooh, I just <laughs> hurt my knee. <laughs> And I think we end on that. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. First okay. the finger, then the knee. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.